Hey there, Louis Ecobels here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do two things. I'm going to show you how to collect responses to a survey that you built in Microsoft Forms in Microsoft Teams. And I'll also show you how you can share the results of a survey that you built in Microsoft Forms in Microsoft Teams. Now, if you've used Microsoft Forms before, you know that you can actually administer surveys and view the results directly in the Microsoft Forms platform. Uh, but with more and more people using Microsoft Teams, I'm finding that individuals actually want to be able to collect responses to surveys in a team and that individuals also want to share results uh, of surveys conducted in a team. So I'm going to show you how to do both of those things. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. You'll also want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Luigi Ecobels to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my new content. Last but not least, if you're interested in learning more about the tools that I use to produce these videos, check out the links in the description below. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now to share a form that you have already created in Microsoft Teams, the first thing that you want to do is you want to navigate to the channel of the team that you want to actually share that form. And then you want to go ahead and click on the add a tab button at the top of the channel. And then you want to go ahead and click on forms. Now, this is where you can come to either specify whether you want to create a new form. Uh, and if you choose to do that in the context of Microsoft Teams, you'll note as the message here reads, create a shared form that your team can edit and see the results. So if you actually go ahead and create your survey or your quiz in Microsoft Teams using this option, essentially what that means from a permission perspective is anybody who is a member of that channel a member of that team is going to be able to see that survey and actually go in and edit the content, uh, add questions, remove questions, edit question content, for example. Now, let's say you've already created a survey, uh, perhaps in the Microsoft Forms platform. And just to make that a little more clear, what I'll show you is I've already gone ahead and I've created a simple uh, survey here. Okay, and if you've done the same and you want to again administer that in the channel of a team, uh, what you want to do is you want to select the add an existing form option. Okay, uh, and here what you'll notice is you'll see a list of all of the surveys that you have created. So you can see, please share your thoughts personal, the survey I had just pulled up. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then in terms of permissions, you really have a few different options here. So you can see I can choose to add this survey as a tab in this channel of the team, and I can choose to collect responses. So if I select this, it means that recipients uh, or members of the team rather will be able to actually go in and fill out that survey. Now, if I click show results, essentially what that means is that uh, anybody with access to that channel will be able to see the results of that survey as they come in in real time. So just to do a bit of a recap, if you are looking to collaboratively create a survey and provide your team members with the ability to edit the questions uh, as well as see the results of that survey, you want to click create a shared form and go ahead and create that right in the context of Microsoft Teams. Uh, or if you want to perhaps collect responses to a survey you've already authored, then you want to click add an existing form, uh, select it, and then you want to go ahead and select whether you want to collect responses or show results. Now I'll just go ahead and click collect responses. Okay, and I'm going to click save. And now what you'll notice as well when you're adding surveys uh, as a tab to a channel of Microsoft Teams, depending on what you had selected. Uh, if you selected collect responses, you'll notice that the tab name is preceded by fill. Okay, so that means again, fill out this survey. And if I go ahead and now add this tab again, and this time if I click show results, what you're going to see is that the tab name again, this time is preceded by the actual uh, word results, okay? Uh, so that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to 
administer a survey in Microsoft Teams and how to share results of a survey uh, that you've created in Microsoft Forms in the channel of a team in Microsoft Teams. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. I'm Louis Yacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.